you would support a censure regarding the mayor and this question of the nails? Well, I think it's something that we need to talk about in a city council meeting next week, yes. Would you vote for it? For a censure? Well, I'm going to give the mayor an opportunity to say whatever she's going to say before uh, I make up my mind. But uh, based on everything I've seen at this point, I believe that would be an appropriate action. It would be an appropriate action? I think so, based on the information I have at this point. And I think she uh, uh, violated her own order and the order of the governor of the state of Texas. Uh, people see uh, her actions by and large as being hypocritical and uh, showing a feeling of entitlement. And I think that was compounded when she initially came out and said she had done nothing wrong. Okay, which was, I, I guess, exacerbated the situation. Because since she... That- right, yeah. since there has been actually uh, an apology on behalf of the, of the, of the mayor. The apology that was uh, put out by the mayor that she did not even sign uh, came after uh, thousands of comments that had come out criticizing her actions. So, you know, while she says that she's sincere, uh, people will form their own opinions about that. I think that her actions put the county judge in a very difficult position because under the orders in place, hairdressers and Nail technicians are not able to work. They don't have income coming in. And I know that when that picture surfaced of the mayor being in the nail salon, having her nails tended to, uh, it certainly caused quite a stir in that community. And then all the women throughout this region that would like to have their nails done and their hair done, uh, they are extremely offended by the apparent hypocrisy of the mayor saying, you know, do as I say, but not as I do. Councilman Gantz, a number of memes have been put forth since this uh, situation arose. Are you running for mayor? Are you going to run for mayor? I'm going to keep all my options open. to the all-new Crazy Cajun Restaurant in Beaumont with new staff, new entertainment, and a brand new menu. The all-new Crazy Cajun, 2310 North 11th in Beaumont. A new twist on Cajun. What I can tell you about Insure Life, and particularly uh, Kimberly Tamborella, is that she's always available. And I actually got my, my friend, uh, I think it was like $9,000 in a matter of hours. Several specific cases where we had clients that were going to see a price increase. And in one particular case, they should have gotten a great increase and got like a 10% discount. Save the employer a ton of money. Let us make health insurance shopping for your employees simple. Give us a call at 409-313-6313. This right here is the new Papadilla, which if I'm not mistaken, is Latin for better than a sandwich. <laughs> Even has a better pickle. Get a new Papa Deer for six bucks. Better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich. Papa John's.